Outside the Hunt is brought to you by McKinstry Chrysler, where the tradition of excellence continues. I know as a hunter that I play a major role in conservation, and I've known this for years. But what I was able to witness and learn while in South Africa takes this to the next level. This week's Outside the Hunt segment is going to touch on that just a little bit. I'll start off by telling you a quick story about something that happened while we were in South Africa. An animal on one of the properties that we went to had ruined the farmer's fence multiple times. And if this had happened several years ago, the farmer who doesn't hunt would have poisoned this bull to get rid of him. And he probably would have gotten rid of a few dozen other animals at the same time by mistake. And he would have been fine with that because these animals had no value to the farmer back then. And actually they often compete with his cattle for feed. But with the value of hunting now for these landowners and farmers, he wasn't willing to risk losing all those other animals who now bring him an income. So he instead hired a hunter to selectively come in and take out this bull giraffe, saving a few dozen other animals at the same time. Now, Vihan was wonderful in explaining some of the conservation efforts in South Africa that are in place. And I'd like to play a couple of clips of some of the things that Vihan had to say. They, um, in the Kruger, the Kruger Park is uh, 2.3 no, million hectares. And there can be about 7,500 elephants in the park, according to scientists. Now there are 22,000 elephants, so there are three times as, as many elephants as the park can carry. But due to pressures from the anti-hunting uh, community, they don't cull these animals. And the Kruger Park is basically becoming a wasteland because of the damage that the, what the elephants are doing. And it's not just the elephant that suffers, I mean, it's from the little ant up to, to the elephant that is <coughs> not only suffering now, but will be suffering when it um, becomes in, in the future. Yeah. It also does a lot for the, for the actual conservation of the animal. It certainly does. Um, I've got a simple saying that, that says if it pays, it stays, you know. Um, un unfortunately, when, when we have areas or hunting areas, we, no, not unfortunately, but we as people and as hunters um, has to take over the, the con conservation role. Yes, and the we cons do. conservation role is done by hunting animals. Um, yes, ecotourism makes a big part of, of, uh, of um, our income, but there's nothing that, that brings so much um, uh, revenue into the country um, when it comes to conservation than hunting. Uh, as you now know, South Africa is about much more than just trophy animals. When you go to places like Nungai Safari, you not only get to leave with an amazing experience and, and memories of a lifetime along with your trophies, you also get the satisfaction of knowing you've helped the South African conservation efforts. Because many, many of these animals would not be on these properties if we didn't hunt them. Just think about those white rhinos you saw in last week's episode being protected from poachers 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They would not be there if we didn't pay to hunt some of the other animals on that property like my red heart of these. Very simply, when you put a value on these animals, they are worth something to the landowners. And they will not only tolerate them, they will help feed, water and protect them because they are now worth something. 